This is satisfying. Building a little house is satisfying. It's a nice looking house. This grenade is satisfying. These punches are satisfying. Murder is satisfying in, in my, to, to me. I mean, this music, this apple, and these moves are all very satisfying. Sorry, now we have to look at my game. Sorry. The platform is not adding to our momentum. So I fixed it. Now spamming jump pushes us forward. I fixed that, but I did something and now our character flings forward when we jump. I fixed that, but now spamming jump pushes us forward again. So I spent a couple hours of, oh god, my life, fixing this again, and it works. But actually it doesn't, because now we just inch forward every time we jump. And there's a speed boost when we land. So I ignore that and improve moving platforms. They do a little jiggle when they stop and there's lines that they follow. Then I work on rotating platforms. They mostly work but then I notice how bad the camera is. I suck at Cinemachine and it's really wonky. So I work on that for about a month and I think that made it worse. So time well spent. I feel like this game is going down the wrong path and the further I push it, the closer it gets to death. Well, I mean, it just feels that way because I'm so far away from where I want it to be. When all the little problems start crawling all over your game, you just feel like quitting. I remind myself to shut up, sweep it under the rug for now because I have a bigger problem. The game is not fun, why bother? The goal is a fun game, but when I think, hmm, what's fun? My mind goes blank. That was fun. Eventually I switched out the word fun with satisfying. For some reason that just helps me b brain think. But I don't know if this is embarrassing or not, but when I'm playing From Software games, I'm having the most fun I've ever had in my life. <laughs> also, when I'm playing From Software games, I'm having the worst possible time I've ever had in my entire life. These games are high contrast. They make you go through these awful, horrible places. All right, I don't understand how I got here. And they make you fight these really difficult enemies, usually when you're just starting out and suck at the game. And there are chunks of the game where I get this weird homesick feeling. And I think, I don't really want to be on this adventure. Hey, wait, why are, why are you, why are you? Uh, which doesn't sound very fun. The game is a battle. If it's not a battle, where's the fun? You go through hell, but if you can make it through, this music starts playing in your head. The contrast, it makes the small victories feel much bigger. Like when you finally make it all the way back to Firelink Shrine, or when you actually kill this big guy. So in contrast to hell, this hug really works. You are very warm. <laughs> the more difficult the battle, the more satisfying the victory will be. Imagine you're starving. Ooh, me so hungry. And then someone makes you this. If you weren't starving, you might think this is too much food. Or who are these cats and why are they making me steak? Have you been up all night eating cheese? I think I'm blind. Kind of like Twin Peaks, where you're sitting there watching this for 15 minutes. Then the next scene is this. Fun and battle, always locked together. It's also satisfying just to see stuff blow up. Collecting power-ups, blowing up Koopas, and just buying some grandmas. Now, unfortunately, I have to show my game again. Where do I go from here? How do I even begin to make this satisfying? Hear me out. We go to the asset store. Right? You following so far? Now get this, it's on sale. You get all these bodies, and they all work with something called Mixamo, which I just found out is free animations. It just works. 
Already, it feels more satisfying to move around. These are all just temporary assets, but it feels fun. And now I know. I truly suck at making art, and I, I really do hate it. I have no patience for it, and I'm really bad at it. So I try to cheat as much as I can until the talented people show up. So next, for some reason, wall climbing. This one almost worked for a little while until I tried it on a rotating platform. In attempts to fix it, I broke static walls. But the rotating wall works, just a little jittery. Even works with these rolling platforms. Then I added a weird little ground slide. It was too weird and I turned it into a leap you could jump out of, which was really satisfying. I did a lot of testing and started to mess around with some visuals and everything was going pretty good until I hit a wall. Apparently wall climbing wasn't actually working at all. I made many attempts to fix it, but the problem would not go away. The guy won't stay on the wall when it moves. It taunted me. Letting the character stick to the wall for minutes at a time, then... One sec. Wait for it. Bloop. There he goes. The game is a battle. It's a test that you pass or a quest that you fail. I struggled with this bug for days, rewriting large portions of the code. Then... A lot of boring stuff happened. But then, finally, I fixed the issue, along with the player jitter. He climbs the wall, the platform rotates, and I don't remember why I wanted it to rotate in the first place. What you felt light up inside you was a Baldekin's blessing. So I was feeling pretty good, and I just wanted to move on, so I did. I started to slow the character down, nerf the only move that he had. I'm hoping this allows for tight-knit, precise jumps. Naturally, that leads me back to the asset store. I get some free particle systems. For some cool reason, this took a couple days to get working. I decided to borrow a couple sounds from Modern Warfare to test something, and I put this together. This little extra oomph really makes this leap satisfying, but it's not quite there yet. Instead of a crouch button, I decided to make an equip shotgun button. This makes our character hold up their invisible shotgun, which can then be fired to make us fly. So this is where we're at right now. The journey was a little, uh, sickening, but it's nice to see some progress. I just gotta keep doing that until the game is finished, which sounds fun. But the game, is also something else. It's a journey, a passport to new worlds, maybe even an odyssey. A look, a feel, an exploration. Close your focus and open.